What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have been riding the Suron Ultra B. We've had it for about a week and it is a freaking blast. So we're gonna be riding it today, reviewing it. We're gonna be sort of comparing it to the Telaria Sting R, even though these bikes are in sort of different size categories. We're gonna help you know if this bike is right for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's head out on the trail. It's sort of a bike that's in between class sizes. Um, it's bigger than the Suron Light B, it's bigger than the Talaria Sting R, and it's smaller than like a full-size dirt bike. It's still decent sized, and it's a blast to ride. I, I don't have a ton of experience with larger dirt bikes. Reed and Alex have both own 250s, but being a little intimidated on this bike before I got on it, I hopped right on it, and I just felt at home. I think they did a great job balancing this bike out and making it capable for people that are just getting into riding these larger dirt bikes. Maybe you're coming from a Suron or a Talaria. This is going to be great. And if you're a larger rider, this bike is going to be perfect for you. We'll be going over all the specs on this bike a little bit later. Right now we're just going to rip it. I'm going to try to keep up with Alex. He's on my bike. And that bike's running almost nine kilowatts of power. I'm running 12 and a half kilowatts of power, but this thing is fast. Maybe you should be trying to keep up with me. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Man, this larger moto style suspension does so much better over these rocks and whoops compared to the smaller Talarias or Surons. I think the weight of the bike just makes a huge difference. The bigger tires too. The throttle feels amazing. There's a bunch of different throttle, throttle profiles too. There's different ride modes. I think Suron actually did a fantastic job on this bike. Guys, I am genuinely really impressed with this bike. I haven't really found a flaw yet. So that's super awesome for Suron. I still prefer the Talaria Sting R in the smaller bike category. But right now, I don't think there's any other bike touching this bike in this category. This size, this weight, this power class. It is just super well balanced and it freaking rips. This bike honestly just makes me really want a bigger bike like this for riding, you know, dirt roads and actual trails. I love the smaller bikes for what I do a lot of the time, but man, this thing is awesome. Let's talk about this Ultra B really quick. So it is running a 74 volt, 55 amp hour battery and has a peak power of 12 and a half kilowatts, which may not sound like a ton on a bike this size, but we can assure you it rips like it's super fast. Now we got this bike. We we're lucky enough to borrow this from Warp 9 here in Salt Lake. This is one of their test bikes that they are manufacturing a lot of aftermarket parts for it. It's already running their Warp 9 sprocket and this has kind of prototype 18, 21 inch wheels that are also gonna be running the traction control that this bike comes with. So that is gonna be super cool. This bike only comes with 19 inch wheels front and back stock but I think that the 1821s complement the size and make it feel much more balanced. Like this bike feels extremely well balanced. It is super fun to ride. And even if I'm used to a small bike, I can hop right on this thing and feel extremely comfortable. We've learned a lot about this bike as we've been riding it for about a week. Suron did an amazing job with all their buttons and their settings that come on this bike. There is three different ride modes, sport, eco, and daily. But then within that, you can actually do three different throttle curve tunes for each mode. So we've been messing around with that. We found different throttle tunes that are better for wheelies, different throttle tunes that are better for each power mode, for riding. 
There is even traction control built into this bike. We haven't spent much time messing with that, but there's different levels on that. You can do different regen levels. There is so much more programmable stuff in this bike than any other electric e-bike we've seen. So we think Suron knocked it out of the park. You can even take the seat off with the key right here and you can store your charger inside the bike. The suspension feels great. The linkage feels great. We haven't really found a flaw with this bike. Like most e-bikes we've ridden, there's got, there's something that just isn't quite perfect. And I think Suron nailed it for this size bike, for the power level. The only thing I think that would really change this bike is the wheels. I think an 1821 with larger moto tires are really gonna make a absolute difference if you are ripping this bike off-road. All right, guys, it's my turn on this absolute unit of a bike. This thing is so much fun to just rip. So I've been riding it a little bit the past few days and just hopping on it, it's just so comfy. Like we ride here quite a bit on our Tolardas, so we're kind of used to it. Then we come on this bike and it just knocks it out of the park doing all these whoops and these jumps and just so comfy. I think Suron just nailed it on this bike. Like, I don't think they could have done anything better. So right when you hop on this bike, it's just, the brakes feel good, the throttle feels good, the suspension feels good, the sides feel good, it doesn't feel too heavy. It's just really well-rounded bike. It's awesome. And the power, I think, is really good, especially with the three different power levels you can choose from. And like the electronics on this bike are amazing. Let's go ahead this jump. I feel like I didn't even get in the air, it's so smooth. It's a little bit different pace of riding, hopping on this after riding our Tuaria so much, because it's just, it's a little heavier. It's so much more comfy on this bigger stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, the Tulare is fun, but this bike does a better job at this kind of riding. I definitely wouldn't take this on the road, how it is with the big old tires. I wouldn't take it on tight single track trails wherever we take our Tularias. So there's, it's a different type of a bike. But for this type of riding, bigger whoops, bigger jumps, bigger trails, more rocks, more technical terrain, bigger stuff, this bike is amazing. I really want to get one of these. Let's go hit a couple of these jumps. This thing jumps so good. I feel like I didn't even get in the air. It's crazy. Here's another one. That is For this bike review, we we really have no like connection to anybody. We're just kind of borrowing this bike from Warp 9. There were no promises made on making a good review. So you've seen some of our other reviews. You've seen that we've we have given a few bad reviews out. But this thing, this thing rips. There's no reason. There's not 
much wrong with this bike at all. Whoa! This bike, I would say, is in a totally separate class than the Suron X and the Talaria Stings. And that's kind of what it feels like. For these bigger riders, I think this is gonna be the perfect bike for you. I wouldn't rip this bike around town. It looks a little too much like a dirt bike. So if you're ripping around town and liking these super tight technical trails and just wanna be on a smaller bike, I think you should go with the Talaria or the Suron. But for this kind of stuff, this is more fun than I've ever had at this location. We've been here a ton of times on a ton of different bikes, and I'm loving this. The suspension feels so nice. It's good. It jumps. It's, it just feels solid. All right, let's go take this off of some jumps. I'm going to test this out a little more. Like butter. Like there's no clanking. There's no noise from the linkage. It just, it's a well-rounded, well put together well thought out bike. I love all these different modes that you can change it to. You can take off regen, you can take off like brake sensors. There's so much that you can do with this little screen with these little like ASR buttons up here. And I'm loving that you can change the throttle, just the different curvature for that, for wheelies, for mountain riding, for road, all sorts of stuff. This bike's been so much fun to have. Huge shout out to Warp 9 for them letting us Rip this bike around. Whoa! That was a bigger one. Yeah, it just eats these whoops and jumps and stuff. Holy cow. I really think these tires with the 1821 setup is definitely the way to go. It's so smooth and it just it really complements how the bike was like meant to be ridden. We just want to show a quick size comparison between the Talari Sting R with a 16 inch back wheel. We'll talk about that more in a minute. And the Ultra B running 18 in the rear, 21 in the front. It doesn't look too much bigger on camera and actually in person doesn't look that much bigger either. But when you get on it, it is noticeably bigger and the size feels perfect. Now let's talk about a few more things really quick. So on our Sting R, Reed has been testing out this 16 inch rear wheel from Warp 9 as well. They make all those wheels and accessories that we've been riding lately because they're awesome. But with this smaller wheel, the bike is so nimble and playful and with this huge tire, it just grips. I was running this wheel for like five days on my bike, then we switched it to Reed's because we both wanted to try it and it is awesome. Yeah, we took it on a long ride last night and it was the most fun I've had on this bike. Like, just so playful around corners. I really think I'm gonna do that that uh, 16 inch wheel. Yeah. Another shout out also to Moto Seat for sending this seat cover out to us. Me and Alex also have them on our bikes. And then one more shout out, guys. This is a big one. Okay. We've been working with a company called Rip and Moto on these brand new two piece 250 mil rotors, front and back. Now we tested their kind of single piece rotor and it had a little bit of warping issues because it was so big, but that is totally fixed on this two piece. They are super sturdy. We haven't had any warping issues and they definitely make your stock brakes way more powerful. They really good now, I'm really liking it. Yeah, and that, that kind of puts this bike a little closer to this. This has 250 mil rotors. Of course it has huge moto brakes and everything. But guys, you if if you want a, a bike that's more like a bigger dirt bike, this is the one. We've tested those Nikot, E Fox, E Beast, a few other bigger e-bikes, and they are nothing compared to this bike. Like Suron knocked it out of the park. Yeah. So we're having a blast. We're kind of sad that we got to go give it back to Warp 9, but they were very gracious and letting us take it for a week, and we've had an absolute blast on it. We might have to figure out if we can get one of these. We don't hate Suron, guys. We just think the Tulare R is better than the Suron Light B. But the Suron Ultra B, that is a unit. All right, guys, with all that being said, we're gonna wrap this video up. We hope you found it helpful. We hope that you found 
if the Ultra B is right for you or if you still want to stick with something like the Teloria R, they're both great bikes. They're both just for a little bit of a different purpose. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more content on the way. We'll catch you guys next video. See ya. See ya.